I found something in the, in, in, in the dumpster and Matt's been sitting here next to this bag for like four months and he doesn't know what's in it. He thinks there's underwear in the bag. The Put that on, brother. Go ahead. Put it on. I don't know in what, in what capacity you would use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So guys, we have an interesting video today. First of all, before I get started on today, listen, we really appreciate you guys subscribing. Appreciate you guys engaging in the channel. We've had a lot of reach out from people that see our, our channel and we're excited. You know, we're happy the office is getting done. We're gonna be able to put out some really cool content. It's gonna be really fun. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the little bell icon so you can see when our next, next upcoming videos are. And I appreciate it. Today, we're gonna be talking about hauling wholesale versus retail. Now, when you hear the word wholesale and you hear the word retail, it's gonna mean a lot of different things to different people. On a wholesale dumpster, you're going to, that would be more like if you're hauling for a contractor or someone that you're gonna haul on a continuous basis with. That's a wholesale guy. A retail customer, is going to be someone that you haul for one time only. Whether they would, let's say they're remodeling their bathroom or, or what have you, that's gonna be your retail customer. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean wholesale and retail. On the surface, yes, wholesale should be cheaper and retail should be more expensive. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be describing the difference between a wholesale and a retail customer. Another thing that I'm gonna talk about is if you haul for a wholesale customer, let's say a contractor, and you're gonna give them really good prices, I'm gonna show you not only that you may be bringing in more money, but you may actually be losing money with some of your wholesale customers. By giving them that cheap price, you better be on time. You, meaning, you better have your shit together. The cheaper, you price a dumpster, the faster and better you need to be qualified to do your job that much more efficient. So the cheaper you give a price of a dumpster, the more efficient you need to become. And people say to me, why don't you have a heavier duty truck? Why do you drive that little single axle P220? Is because I do some wholesale customers and if I can run cheaper, that puts more in my bottom line. And I'm gonna explain that in depth on why and how to price a dumpster and how and why to buy a specific kind of truck. Now, we have really tight relationships with our truck sales company. They are 100% qualified to help you distinguish the needs for your truck, just like they did for me. And I get a lot of my education from hunter truck so i'm gonna i'm just here to help you guys out and if you ever notice i don't try to self promote my company is because that's not why i'm here the reason that i do videos is because i enjoy sharing my education and i enjoy helping the next person out that maybe god's given me a clear path on what I should be doing and how I should be doing it. It just came easy for me to start a business. It came easy for me after I had the money to start the business. We invested it from another business that we had. But there's a lot of guys out there that are on that daily struggle. They're on that daily grind. And just to be quite frank with you, there's gonna be people out there that, you know, one dollar means everything to them. Hey, and if I could help that person save money, I can share my thoughts with you and my experiences with you and save you that one dollar that may be all the money in the world for you that day. I'm for it. I'm here to share my experiences and to have fun. And I'm gonna go in detail on how and why to price a dumpster the way I do. So we're gonna get to started on the math and the two different ways you can rent a dumpster. One is haul plus tons. In our area, and this, this is gonna differ widely, um, depending on your cost of hauling and where you're at, and just to be quite frank, what the market will bear. 
Let's go with 175 for a haul. And then this, the number I'm gonna use is gonna reflect what you would charge the customer for weight. In our area, it's about $85 a ton. And we're gonna assume for the math in this, it's three tons in the dumpster. That's what they delivered the dumpster back to you with is three tons. So what that's gonna cost the customer is 175. Well, here, let me do the 380. 85 times three. This is two, it's 175. And the tons they gave you back is gonna cost them $255. going to cost them $430. So when you send them the bill or you get a credit card um, from them up front, you're, they're going to be paying $430 for that dumpster. Now listen to me guys, this is your profit. That's it. Your profit is $175. The tonnage, that's their, that's your, your expense as well as theirs. This $430 is nothing. That's that, that is just your, 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 your total take for the dumpster. Your profit still remains at $175. Now, the, the other way to do it would be a flat rate. Now, what I mean by flat rate would be is in our area, a dumpster is $450. And then your pot, and then in some people will give some, this is for a 20 yard dumpster. We're gonna, let's put a 20 up here. These are for 20 yard dumpsters. Let's say you give two tons in your dumpster. I'm, I'm just giving a hypothetical um, rate for the dumpster. So it'd be 80, so you're, you're at 450. And let's say they put three tons in for the same math over here. It's 255. Wow, what am I doing? 255. So it'd be 450, subtract 255. That's your profit of $195, okay? So you went from $175 profit to $195 profit. Now that doesn't seem like a lot of money, but I'm gonna explain something to you. Let's say you did 2,000, uh, so that's a, that's, a, that's a price difference of 195, subtract 175, $20. Let's say you did 2,000 dumpsters that year. That's $40,000 difference on 2,000 dumpsters. Now. Um, there's some things, there's, there's two different, there's some different things at play here as well too. On your haul and tonnage, if you're going to be doing haul and tonnage, you better be doing it for contractors that you know. And I'm going to get back to flat rate in a minute. Let me, let me make one more point on flat rate actually. This is times three tons. Okay. That's assuming somebody puts three tons in there. Let's say I'll use whole tonnages and that's your profit on three tons. Okay, now let's say they only put one ton in there. So here's the math on that. It's 450, and then you would subtract $85. 450, subtract 85, that's one ton. Your profit went to $365 for that same dumpster. These are two, now it's $365, okay? So it went from 175 to $365 profit. Now guys, there's some things at play here that make sense and don't make sense. You're, you're gonna have to know some things if, if you're gonna be in business for yourself, you're gonna need to know what's customer acquisition. Customer acquisition is, um, is gonna be how much it costs you to get a customer. I know that my customer acquisition is $50 per customer. $50 per customer is what it costs me for my um, for advertising. That's how much it costs me to gain a customer. So my advertising costs me $50. By the time I pay for advertising on Google, and all my different Facebook ads and stuff like that. I know it cost me $50. And the way you figure that out is if you do 2,000 dumpsters a year, right? And then let's say you had, uh, I'm gonna do some really quick math. Um, let's say it cost you $100,000 in advertising. It's really easy. You have this many customers and here's your advertising budget. 
So you have 100,000 divided by 2,000. That's $50 per customer. Okay, guys, that's how you come up with your customer acquisition. Um, the, so it's, like I said, it's $1,000 in advertising. And then if you have 2,000 customers, you know that that's $50 per customer that it costs you to gain a customer. Because there's your advertising, there's your how many customers you have, and that's called customer acquisition. You need to know how much it costs you to acquire a customer so you know what to charge your people over here. If you don't know what it costs you to acquire a customer, you have no idea what your profits are because that's just like fuel and oil and labor. Customer acquisition is a big one. So it's $50 per customer. So out of this $365, you have a lot of things to deduct out. Now, if, if you're over here at 175, I sure would rather be starting with this number than this number because now I'm subtracting all these things out of my profit or what we would call hard profit or, um, or your gross sales. So you would wanna start, you know, if, if you're gonna haul for 175, understand that your 175 is good for certain customers, but it's not gonna be for your retail customers. If your retail customers are gonna be a lot more maintenance, they're gonna cost you a lot more to acquire the customer, and then you still have your other expenses on the bottom. So don't give everyone a haul and tonnage, try to push them towards the flat rate, and it's not so, you're, look, we're not trying to rip anyone off, but at the end of the day, you're gonna to have to keep your you're gonna to have to keep your customers happy, and the way you're gonna keep your customers happy is gonna be by keeping your trucks running safely, keeping your um, your employees paid on time, and if you don't charge the right amount of money, it's gonna kick you in the back end. So make sure you understand what your customer acquisition cost. This is really important number, guys. You know what your fuel, your oil, and your labor, and your advertising costs, and when this number is you know, getting below $200 where you're making per dumpster, you need to increase your prices. Cause if not, you're not gonna be able to properly maintain your vehicles um, and you're not gonna be able to properly service your customers if you don't have properly maintained vehicles. So out of this 365, um, we kind of estimate that it's $150, um, 150 to pick up and deliver a dumpster. Then we know our acquisition and then we have other um, factors in like labor and, and oil and miscellaneous stuff. We know it's about another hundred dollars. So we estimate for each dumpster, it costs us $300 to pick up a dumpster and drop it off. That's with one ton included. And so it'd be 300 plus 85. That's 385. Guys, I know it's hard to believe, but that's what we estimate with one ton of garbage in the dumpster is what we we pay for that. This is what it costs us to pick up, deliver, and empty a dumpster. $385. Now, if you're at 450, subtract 385, your profit is 65 bucks. I know it's hard to believe, but honestly, guys. This is what you should count on on making. If you can make this much on each dumpster and you have a constant profit of this much per dumpster and you could do 10 dumpsters a day. So 65 times 10, that's 650 bucks. You know, that's a good day all day long for a truck. I know a lot of people believe that they're making more per dumpster, but I bet you if you did your costs, you did your expenses and you understood what it cost you to deliver a dumpster, I'll guarantee you that you're you're hovering between $65 and $120 profit per can. If you know what your customer acquisition is, you know what your fuel, your oil, your labor, and like I said, I can't express, understand what customer acquisition is, your can profit is gonna be between $65 and $100 $120 per can, depending on where you're at in your area. Guys, it's important to understand what these expenses are and, and write them down and get your QuickBooks or your Peachtree or your accountant to hook you up with um, some sort of 
accounting program and understand your expenses because these nickel and dime expenses will eat you up for lunch and it's really important that you understand your expenses. Um, if, if, if you did take anything away from this channel is understand your expenses and if anyone has any questions, I will go into any of these in more in detail like customer acquisition, I keep talking about it, or your expenses and I could show you why these expenses are what they are. I, I am very detail oriented when it comes to numbers and I could promise you that I've went over these numbers a thousand times in my head and I'm certain your can is going to profit you between 65 and 120 dollars per can that's going to be your profit per dumpster whether you want to believe it or not that's what it is the only way to make it more is if you charge more for the dumpster because the math doesn't lie thanks guys thanks for watching